Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Big Talk, where we discuss big ideas, big goals, and big vision. I'm super excited about this episode because we're going to be talking about something that every family should be discussing, and that's about death. Why? Because none of us will make it out of this alive, and the chances that we will die is one out of one. So let me ask you, how much coverage have you purchased for you and your family to make sure that when you do die, your family will not suffer through financial catastrophe? All right, we'll discuss a different type of life insurance today. There's term insurance and permanent insurance in this episode. So stay tuned to the end. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe, and share. And hopefully, hopefully, you guys can learn something today. Yay, yay. All right, you guys, again, thank you for tuning into this episode. It's super important that we have these type of discussions because if we don't have this type of discussion, we're just trying to ignore it. And ignoring something, especially a problem, it's not going to make it go away. It's going to keep on coming up over and over. So let me ask you this question. If something happens to you yesterday and you don't come home today, what happens to your family? What will they have to do? What needs to happen? Another question I need to ask you is how much coverage do you currently own now? And if you do have type of, some type of coverage, you know, what type of coverage do you have? See, a lot of people, uh, unfortunately, most people out there don't have coverage, you guys. Why? Because it's an uncomfortable conversation to have, especially with your family member, especially with your spouse. So there's two types of life insurance out there. There's term insurance and then there's permanent insurance. Real quick, what term life insurance is, is coverage for a certain period of time. It's pretty much called, it's just pure life insurance, exactly what it is. Because it's only designed um, to pay out, heaven forbid, if you were to die prematurely. But unfortunately, most term policies never pays out. Why? Because, you know, you outlive your policy. Because the policies are designed for 10 years, 20 years, to 30 years. And again, it only pays out if you die within that time frame. And some policies, you have to die specifically uh, a certain type of way. Because most insurance carriers, when it comes down to paying out a big premium, I'm sorry, a big death benefit, they will look for any reason not to pay out. So how do you make sure that you have the right type of insurance and get, get some type of guarantee coverage? Well, that's why a lot of people, a lot of my clients, they convert into something called permanent life insurance, which is whole life insurance. The reason being is because it's a guaranteed death benefit. Lots of different uh, benefits to it, right? It earns cash value. It builds wealth. Um, you receive tax-free benefits. Your investments each month or each annual uh, premium you pay, it earns interest, you guys, and it's tax-deferred. Um, it's a little bit more costly, yes, but it also has built-in living benefits. You know, um, whole life insurance, it, it prolongs, the, it provides, I'm sorry, a lifelong coverage and includes an investment component. That's how it's able to earn a cash value. Um, even though the cash value grows, and it grows based on the index, which is on the market, S&P 500, which is really good because um, the returns, it's safe, it's liquid, and it's a high rate of return. And uh, you can't go wrong with it because it has a, also a guaranteed death benefit. You know what I mean? So you don't ever have to worry about, wow, my, is policy going to pay out? Because like I said earlier, the best kind of life insurance is the kind of life insurance that pays out when you die. So let's talk about renting versus buying, renting versus owning, right? Term life insurance, you're just renting a policy, just temporary, to give you protection um, just in, uh, until you're able to maybe convert it or um, afford more, more um, a higher premium, then you convert it to a better um, uh, policy, which is, you know, whole life insurance. The cash value life insurance, again, is permanent protection, guaranteed cash value, has dividends, and you have access to it too. Um, so some of the advantages and disadvantages of term life insurance, as you can tell, is the only advantage for term life insurance is that it's cheap and that's it. And it's easy to go. And yes, some policies, they can convert. You can convert it into a, a full, full uh, permanent life insurance. You know, I want to share with you the story of my dad. So the story of my dad, real quick, you guys, my dad was diagnosed with stage four liver cancer. 
He's he worked for this company for 25 years, and during the whole time, he contributed to a um, 401k, and he also contributed to Social Security, and he um, also had some type of uh, you know, basic life insurance. It's a you know term insurance through the carrier through the company. Uh, unfortunately, when he was diagnosed with stage four liver cancer, he was told six months left to live, and obviously, he's not going to spend the next six months working still. So he told his employer. His employer gave him severance pay left his job, um, and that was it. He didn't live just six months. He actually ended up living for two years longer than what the doctor projected him to live. But during that two year, those two years, um, he it was hard. It was financial hardship for my mom, for my family, for uh, the siblings. Why? Because of medical expenses, trips to and from San Francisco, um, seeking you know medical help, things like that. Um, he had to go in and out the hospital, chemotherapy. You can think of all the prescription pills. It's expensive, you guys. Cancer really sucks and it depleted my dad's savings um to wow uh, where he had to refinance and took a, a, a money out from his mortgage and it, it it was it was bad and unfortunately you know uh, when he passed away he also left uh, my mom and the family members uh my family you know with a lot of debt that we are still have to deal with today see that's what ended up happening his life insurance that he had to work that was gone when he left Another quick story I want to share with you about um, a friend of mine, which is a um, really good friend of mine. You know, he's an entrepreneur, but he didn't begin as an entrepreneur. He he was he was working for a company. Matter of fact, he um, yeah he worked for a really really good company, and he had a he opted into the insurance that he had. He also contributed to a four hundred one k. But when he left his job because he wanted to pursue being an entrepreneur, you know, be your own boss, he opened up his new business, and his business was doing really well. But because he left his job, he left his 401k at, at his job, he didn't contribute to any uh, further, and he left his life insurance there too as well. Because remember, term insurance through work is not portable. You have to leave it there. It is there. They gave him an option to convert it, and at the time he was young, so he didn't think it would be necessary. Well, he ended up getting a life scare, um, and it, he he was really worried. So he, he contacted me, and um, we tried to see if we can get him qualified. But unfortunately, it was unable. We, we were unable to get him qualified. Um, and even more, you know, sad news. He passed away most recently, and he passed away, leaving his family with debt. Um, and you know, if you guys don't take care of your, 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 your finances, you guys don't take care of your bills and you don't arrange to pay your state taxes, like while you're still alive, your survivors may spend their whole entire lives, um, you know, trying to buy your business back from the government. You guys, if you don't take care of your financial affairs while you're still alive, you're leaving your family into, uh, financial hardship and catastrophe. So don't be one of those people. Get some type of coverage, either term insurance or permanent insurance. And if you already have coverage, then great. You know, um, make sure that you have enough and you have the right type of coverage. See, I believe in the permanent whole life insurance coverage because you can access your death benefits while you're still alive. So for my dad, for example, if he was to, you know, let's say something was to happen to him. You know, my dad, um, uh, uh, when, when oh, actually something did happen to him. So for my dad, for example, when he was sick and he had stage four liver cancer, he would have been able to access all of that, his death benefit while he's still alive to pay for bills, to make sure the guaranteed um, college tuition is paid for for his, uh, his children, his grandchildren. He can still contribute to his charity and he can also, you know, uh, um, leave, set aside money for his wife, which is my mom. And um, it would have been a lot easier for my mom too as well. Right, and he would have been able to at least pay off the home that they that they live in, so that way my mom don't have to continue paying a mortgage to this day. So you guys, it's super important that you have some type of coverage. You know, how much coverage do you need today? And let's get you qualified, you guys. Again, life insurance pays out after you die, and can be it's it's super important safety net for your family. And I can definitely help you get qualified. Um, I can help you. Um, 
get qualified with an application. I work with a lot of different uh, insurance carriers and I want to make sure you get the best rates out there. I'm a field underwriter and you know, to get qualified is free. The application process is completely free and we can see what we can um, get for you. So DM me, text me. I would love to have a conversation with you. The process takes five minutes. Until then, you guys, stay blessed, stay intelligent, stay gifted, and keep doing it. B-I-G-Z.